Today, I'm gonna to be testing four of the internet's craziest viral slime hacks, starting with colorful wax-covered clay balls. I have seen these TikToks everywhere. You guys have seen me do wax-covered clay stuff in the past. I've never done it in a way that it's like a surprise. Now that I have all of my blocks of cream cheese ready, it's time to start dyeing them. Now, as always, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to replicate it the best I can. For this one, I'm going to dye each of these a separate color and then cover them in white clay and then cover them in wax. Now our red is ready, let's move on to the fun part. This is where I'm switching things up. Last time I did this for a video, I took the clay and I just dunked it right into the wax. But this time I want it to be a surprise. So I'm gonna take this clay, coat it in more clay and then coat it in wax. And there we have it, my three ugly dumplings. So now I'm just gonna skewer them. These ended up a lot bigger than I <laughs> was anticipating. One of them to be like that big, but this is more exciting anyways. Here we have our very hot pot of wax. I'm going to very carefully dunk these one by one. Oh, it's sizzling. I've never seen it do that before. This stuff dries extremely fast, so I feel like I need to work pretty quickly with it. Those two have been sitting for less than five minutes and they're already dry. It is time to see the results of our first viral slime hack. Now these are completely dry. It's time to remove them from the skewers. Try to guess what color is inside. Is it green? Is it blue? I think for aesthetics, this is a one out of 10. I think it was extremely ugly. That was definitely my fault. For ASMR, seven out of 10. For satisfyingness, it was honestly like a nine or 10 out of 10. Because the aesthetics were so bad, I have to say that this one was a fail. On to the next one. Next is a slime trend that I have always wanted to try. It is the rainbow ASMR slime trend. For this one, I'm just gonna get super clear slime, dye it a bunch of different colors and put it in the same container and wait for it to clear up. See if it makes like a really cool ombre effect. So I'm going to try to separate my clear slime evenly, put it all in here and leave it for an hour or something and see if I can get that perfect ombre effect. So I'm gonna go with turquoise, violet, not purple, violet and pink. The last one was fun. This one is all about beauty. These colors are already so pretty together. I'm so excited for this. But now it is the fun part. Have to evenly put these in here. Yeah, I'm really happy with those color choices. As you can see right now, there are a lot of bubbles in this slime. So I'm gonna let this sit for as long as it takes for it to be clear, and then it will be time to test it out. Speaking of ombre slime mixtures, I have here in front of me pink lemon sugar sprinkles that you can buy right now at peachybabies.com. Peachybabies.com restocks every single single Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a bunch of new slimes. There are at least four new slimes every single week. Completely original, completely exciting new slimes. Make sure to go check it out. Look at how beautiful that mix together. I'm kind of disappointed. The pink and the purple look almost the same, but look at how that blue transitions into the pink. This is exactly what I was looking for. That kind of messes with your mind. If you didn't know what slime was and you looked at this, you'd probably be so confused. But now it's time for the best part. beautiful and so much fun to mix together. I honestly got lost in it. I forgot that I was even filming a YouTube video. 10 out of 10, absolute slime trend win. Let's move on to the next one. For this next one, I'm going to be painting slime using makeup. Now I'm sure you guys have seen us add too much makeup into slime, but this one is a little bit different because I'm going to be very carefully coating the top of it with it to make it as aesthetic as possible. I have a lot of eyeshadow, so I'm gonna see how much of this I can add. I have a little tool to crush up all this eyeshadow with. I love makeup crushing videos. Brush full of this stuff. Get all the edges. 
That is so fun. I could do this all day. That's it. That's beautiful, actually. I think what this is missing is a bit of shimmer. So we're gonna add these three. Super pretty glitter. This other super pretty glitter and this purple one. I think this will add a lot to what we what we have going here. Even though I feel like this isn't even what those videos look like, it doesn't seem like it should have this texture because it's so dry on top now. It feels like a desert. And then underneath, you know, it's this very wet slime. This will be very fun to mix together. Now let's see what it looks like all mixed up. Well, the mixing of that was obviously very beautiful, but the brushing it on top, I feel like that could have been better. For the makeup one, I'll give it like an eight out of 10. I thought it was good, but I think the metallic will be better. So let's go see if it is. Here I have four different colors of metallic pigments. Wait, I have five actually. So I wanna do basically the exact same thing. Just pretend like this is already crushed up eyeshadow. We're starting with this purpley, green, brownish color. Douse this brush in there. Whoa, look at that. That's a lot of pigment. Oh, that is a hundred times better. That is gorgeous. Beautiful shimmery blue. That is what I was expecting from the eyeshadow. Can you imagine if you put this on your eyelids? It is kind of having the same texture effect that the eyeshadow was. I think I will do one more. I think this idea of emptying them into a... That was inevitable. I think the idea of emptying it into a little cup before you put it onto the slime is really what's making the difference here. It needs to be like completely coated on the brush before you brush it on here. Now that we have it all on here, I wanna try to kind of replicate that ombre effect that we used earlier for the clear slime by sort of blurring the lines here a little bit. Gotta bring out my artistic side. I want this to really blend and be seamless and beautiful. Look at that, and the way that it shifts under the light, it just, it's like constantly changing colors. my entire slime career. That may have been the most beautiful, satisfying moment that I've ever experienced. 10 out of 10, maybe 11. I am over the moon with those results. This one is absolutely a win. Let's move on to the last one. It is time for the tennis racket slime. You guys, I have not done this since the very first time I attempted to do viral slime hacks. Ooh, that looks weird. And the entire comment section of that video was, you did it wrong, you did it wrong. And I know I did it wrong because it was my first time ever trying it. So now, I'm doing it again, and I'm going to do it correctly this time and with a more interesting looking slime. If you've never seen this before, how it works is I just take this tennis racket, put it in slime. That's pretty much it. It's gonna be beautiful. How heavy this is, it's really hard to get out. Now here's the ASMR part. That was better than last time, right, you guys? So with clear slime, that is, in my opinion, a 10 out of 10, but I want to now try it with a more activated slime slightly, because this one was kind of runny, and I want to see how that interacts with the tennis racket. So let's go grab one more slime. So this here is a much more activated slime, so I think we will have completely different results. Let's see. <laughs> That honestly may have even been better than the rainbow slime. Well, I guess the hack with that one is you need a slightly overactivated slime or a perfectly activated slime because this slime is pretty perfectly activated. So for the tennis racket, doing it the correct way, I would honestly give it a 10 out of 10. I have had so many 10 out of 10s this video, but that one is another one. Maybe I'm finally actually getting better at this. If this video gets 3,000 likes, I will make another one of these videos, but I will only use your guys' hack suggestions. So if you want to see that, make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe because we are trying to get to 4 million subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.